Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, the Kainai's Highlands are snowing. Pretty sure that's not a normal thing. Makes me wonder if Sally is in the process of recreating the northern event, trying to send Snowtop back to the north. Or even worse, trying to send it here. I could totally see her doing that, considering how against Heatrana she is. Yeah, I should probably head back to Hyola Town and tell everybody that we should flee this area. Incidentally, earlier we found out that Snowtop was just south of South Ring Desert. I seem to recall being told that we couldn't just waltz into Snowtop, though, that there was some sort of barrier or something preventing air entry. And in fact, uh, as soon as I was outside Snowtop, I was not able to waltz right back into it. We had to be teleported out. Not sure what is up with that. But whatever, we are now out of Snowtop, so... Let's get to our friends and tell them to skedaddle. You're too late. They're all dead. I did what I was able. But we both came too late. I'm sorry. Man! I really wish I had gotten a chance to kill those Kokani. And also head back inside the place to blow it up. I have bombs. I have an igniter. If I had the opportunity, I would have totally destroyed that thing so this wouldn't happen. You know who did this, correct? Ulixus, the last of Exodus's legionnaires. Which means one thing, your allies are not truly dead. They wait for you in Dark Isle. You never warned me of de about Death Room. Oh, th there's another name that I'm supposed to remember and don't. This game has too many names to keep track of. I don't recognize Deferim at all. Who is Deferim? Or what? Deferim is the guy you meet in the Cerebellum who controls a part of Karen's army. Alright. Yeah, I remember who you're talking about now. I just needed a name attached to him. Well, I'm just going to say nothing in any case. You need to make a choice. Follow them into Dark Isle, or resist its call once more and fight this alone. Hmm... Well, my goal this entire time has been to been enter Dark Isle to rescue Mira and Jack. Now apparently I have to rescue everybody else as well. Of course, me entering Dark Isle is what will trigger Apocalypse, supposedly.
Presumably, I can kill it, though. Yeah, I gotta rescue everybody. So you would willingly damn the world to save those that matter to you. I won't pass any judgment onto you. You do what you must. You were taught everything that you needed to learn in order to make that decision. And in the end, the world will be ruined by all of us. When I arrived, I was able to save Parius. He is alive, but I am unsure as to the state of his mind. Vincent was the only one conscious, however. He now awaits for you aboard the late autumn, ready to avenge his fallen family. We will wait for your return. Go, enter Dark Isle, and bring them in. Um, well, I got there in a hurry. Welcome aboard, Perrin. I'm not sure why, but I half expected this lug to be lined with golden rubies, sailing under a flag adorned with the ten crescent moons of legend. But I suppose for the purposes of our quest, this will have to do. Karen has told me everything. It was surprising seeing her again after all this time, but I am sure her heart is in the right place. Regardless of the consequences, I will rescue my family. You will rescue your friends, and we will save this world, once and for all. So you're not worried about the Gaikan? I cannot. Not now. Not when we have a goal as clear as this. We cannot allow ourselves to get distracted. By anything. The end of the world will just have to wait. Fanfare aside, you may have noticed that we are not alone on this escapade. I am not sure of the story, but I vaguely recall hearing of an Aquan base Perius and Garen raided before falling to Yerlixis. These are the pirates rescued from that operation. The crew of the captain, I believe, was staying in Hyola with us, the same one who had graciously lent us this ship. The ex-captain of the late autumn is waiting for your call to journey to White Island. Karen told me it was there, the doorway to Dark Isle. We will lay out our plans once we've arrived. All right. I assume I have not yet reached at the point of no return. Also, my controller is informing me that my battery is almost dead. Hopefully, between uh, I'll be able to reach the next episode break before I need to change the batteries. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller as a reminder. A lot of people apparently don't like that this thing uses regular batteries and not rechargeable built-in battery. I'm kind of indifferent. I grew up on regular batteries, so it doesn't bother me that this uses regular batteries. For what it's worth, these batteries do last quite a while. Is there something you require? Let the Axe Captain know as soon as possible when you are prepared to leave. Oh, by the way, Dark Isle will probably kill you. So be it. If it kills me, then it will have killed my family as well. And I will die before I fail them again. Also, why would those these pirates help us? They were adamant about doing us such a favor following the attack. 
You'd have to ask them what their reasons were for the change of heart. Alright. I can't completely remember what happened. Like the pirates stole the... ship from the blue captain or something. And then the Aquans took hold of it. Because the Aquans took hold of these guys. This ship has gone through multiple owners, it seems. Captain will speak to you if you're willing. I find that the pirate lingo is inadequate to express my more nuanced emotions. So old Heldon's been traveling with the likes of you? Strange days, mate. Strange days. That reminds me, what happened to the clown and his dragon buddy? I hope they're not dead, too. I really wanted them on my team. Especially the dragon... thing. You getting the captain back? Good on you. We all liked him. Except for Bob upstairs. He's a bit of a weirdo. Ugh. Sorry, I thought I was about to fall through the ship again. Stay weird, game. Stay weird. Okay, I'm pretty sure I wasn't able to step up the stairs that way, but whatever works. So... Captain goes down and we're delegated to shipping and handling. Bloody typical. Look, I ain't got anything against you, yeah? Heldon's an idiot, we all know that. But for now, let's just focus on this mission thing. We'll sort out the details later. Long as you follow our arrangement, we're good. Okay, curiosity makes me more interested in asking about this. Why did you take the ship from Heldon? Is that what he told you? That we took it? We hire some extra help to sail across the sea, and that idiot loses the will to keep his pants on at the sight of her. Got it? He left us. Probably invented that sob story upon realizing that the woman was just a decent sailor looking for work. Whatever. Point is, we're loyal, so if there's a chance to get that loaf back on board, we're all game. Anyway, you ready to get this rolling or what? Not yet. Well, hurry it up then. Alright. Wanna ask about the arrangements, but apparently I can't. Am I happy that I chose to ask about this backstory first? Yeah. We'll probably find out the arrangements as we go along. But at least now we got this cleared up about this whole ship being taken over thing. Alright, let's go. Great. Do us a favor, though, and stay below deck. In fact, just curl up in one of the cots. We don't need you in the way for us to trip over. Okie dokie. Can I ask you about the arrangements now? Get some Z's, you're in the way. Nope. Well, then I'll ask Vincent. Is there something you require? Nothing that you're willing to give. Alright, I, I guess we're shoving off. Depart for White Island? Boy, it's been a while since we've been to this place. Let's do it. This wasn't here before. Pretty sure it wasn't here before. Criminy, did you know you sleep like a freak? I came to wake you up and... Seriously, what? <laughs> Are we still getting surprised by this? <laughs> Nah, I'm just gonna let him know. I'm a corpse. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. That aside, we're here. You and your weirdo friend can get off now. Get our captain back. Okie dokie. Why are you still blabbing at me? I got you here. Now repay the favor. Maybe that's the arrangement we were talking about. Are you guys not going to have anything new to say? Guess not. Moving on. That did not take as long as I had expected, but then again, the Highlands and White Island were never that far away from each other. But that is neither here nor there. We can take this small boat to the shore near Docktown, yes? I believe that is what it's called. Let us waste no more time, then. Alright, Vincent's with us. Boy, it's been a while since you've been on my team, hasn't it? Alright. Blue right scarf. Adventurer's helm. And totally keeping that. You're totally going to use blue aura. And I'm totally healing us both. Um, totally healing us both. I don't think your captain's ready to continue speaking with me. Hmm. Seems this guy is brewing something for our arrival. No matter. A cloudy sky shan't bar our path forward. Hmm. Perrin, you... You do know where we need to go, yes? While I am aware that the doorway is on this island, I am not positive where specifically it lies. Oh yeah, I got this. While I'm here, there's definitely a few things I want to try. First things first. Are the people still here, and are they still... weird? Or were they only here for the purpose of... us being here? Although Mira has lived on this island, and people were acting normal up until I arrived. Seems that everybody's vanished, though. Perhaps in the same way that that kid vanished. It's interesting to think that Karen was here waiting for us. Alright, so first I want to come up here. Where is it? Is this it? There's a blank slate with what appears to be a stick of charcoal on the ground. Let's write something. Let's see here. Kilo... Ben... Nope. Well, there goes that idea. Maybe I'll think of another name to put on it. Alright, you. I've been waiting for this moment. Uh, Orgaya is asking what made me try that name. Uh, what tr made me try that name was, um... Kilo Ben saying to come find him, so it's like, well, maybe that was his grave. You know, I was hoping that I would be able to cause a whole lot more damage by this point in the game.
It makes me wonder how long this is going to take. I mean, I'm definitely causing a lot more damage than I did... Uh... Something. Lost track of my... What I was saying. Oh yeah, causing a lot more damage than when I was at the start of the game. Alright, so let's do this smartly. Equip stuff that increases my attack. So there's a combat amulet. Is there one better than that? Greater combat amulet. Makes sense. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is what I needed to do. Oh, we'll have this done in no time at all. Um... And by that, I mean, I should probably go ahead and take us on our next episode break. So let me go ahead and do that. And we'll be right back and... Yeah, we'll take a break for a few minutes. I'll come back and continue to do this and we'll officially be back whenever I get this thing killed. Or at least close to it. <laughs> 